Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to subtract mixed numbers. Now, I'll go through one example, which should be helpful for anyone looking for a quick review or refresher, whether you learned this recently or years ago. If you need more help or examples, I dropped links to other videos on this topic down in the description. Let's jump into our example where we have 9 and 3 fourths minus 2 and 2 eighths. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is rewrite this problem vertically, so up and down. And I'm going to line up my whole numbers and fractions. So let's come to the side here and we'll do 9 and 3 fourths minus 2 and 2 eighths. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to subtract the fractions first and then the whole numbers. Now when we subtract fractions, we need a common denominator. So as we have the problem written out now, we have a denominator of four and a denominator of eight. So we can't subtract quite yet. We need to find a common denominator and rename. We find a common denominator by looking for common multiples and then the least common multiple we can use for our least common denominator. So let's write out our multiples of 4 and 8. Now you may be able to do this, figure out what the least common multiple is without writing out the multiples, but I'll write them out as a review. So the multiples of 4, well let's count up by 4, 4, 8, 12, 16. Now those multiples go on forever. So my suggestion, write out four or five. See if you have any in common. If not, you can always extend your lists. Now let's write out four multiples of eight. So we have eight, 16, 24, 32. Once we have that, we can look for the least common multiple, which is going to be the smallest number and value that they share, which is going to be eight. So eight is going to be our least common denominator. Now that we have the common denominator that we're going to use, we can rename the fractional part of these mixed numbers with that common denominator of eight. So let's start with nine and three fourths. So this equals, keep our whole number the same, and then we need that common denominator of eight. So let's use equivalent fractions here. Four times two equals eight. Now whatever we do to the bottom, we must do to the top in order to keep this equivalent. So three times two gives us six. Six eighths is equivalent to three fourths. We're not changing the value of the problem at all. We're just using equivalent fractions to rename that fraction with our common denominator. So let's do two and two eighths now. We'll put our subtraction sign there. Now two and two eighths, that already has a denominator of eight. So we do not need to do anything with that mixed number and specifically the fraction. Again, because we already have that denominator of eight. Now that we renamed what we needed to rename, we have a common denominator of eight and we're able to subtract. So let's subtract the fractions of these mixed numbers. So six eighths minus two eighths. Subtract the numerators, six minus two, that gives us four. And then we keep our common denominator of eight. Once we have that, we can subtract the whole numbers. So nine minus two gives us seven. So we get seven and four eighths. Always look to see if you can simplify the fractional part of a mixed number. We can, four eighths can be simplified. We have a greatest common factor of four. So let's divide both of these by four. And we get seven, four divided by four is one, eight divided by four is two. So we get a simplified answer of seven and a half. So to recap, we found our common denominator, which was eight. Then we renamed the fractions that we needed to rename, so we have a common denominator of eight. Then we subtracted our fractions, and then whole numbers. 
we got 7 and 4 eighths, which is our final answer, but we were able to simplify, and our final simplified answer was 7 and a half. So there you have it. There's how you subtract mixed numbers. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.